pleased with that. I'm just happy. I'm happy with you. That is an absolutely awesome fish. <laughs> that is mental. That's a proper one. Thanks for choosing to watch the video and in this one we are looking at searching tactics for how we can search out those big perch. So I'm actually on the canal for two reasons. Uh, I did actually catch some really nice fish on the section just down from here but those fish seem to have moved on so the logical thing to do is to move onto the next section up and also there has been an awful lot of rain, a lot of flooding. Uh, on the rivers and when that happens I do find that the canal actually doesn't seem to get affected quite as bad. Apparently I might be joined with my old perch master's mate Tom Hunt later in the session. Um, I hope so, we've had a couple of tough sessions recently on the quiet so hopefully if he does join us uh, that's two lines in the water and hopefully one of us will be able to catch up with a good one. But with all that said I'm going to get started, uh, Tom can catch up with me in a bit, uh, let's get a lure in the water see if we can find some perch. I've decided to start the session using a little crankbait, but then I'm quite quickly gonna move on to fishing with small creature baits, because I've had some success on those. And then I might even start running through a few small shads. Um, what I do find is that Shads are quite good on the canal. The natural sort of bait fish seem to be sort of small minnows and stuff. But really, I'm just wanting to use any lures that I can fish with a bit of pace. Uh, it's quite mild. If I fish with a bit of pace, I can cover more water and I'll just feel like I've got more chance of finding them. Okay. Fish. Back into the canal. Go on, Let's go. Tell you what, there's so much man-made fibre in the in this canal, like this. It's coming back nearly every chuck. Can't be good for the fish. So nothing much else on that section. Uh, I'm going to move up further up the canal. To see what else I can find. <laughs> Got you, you little rascal. There we are, a little canal cracker from a new location. Been tough to find these, so pleased with that. A little fatty. Yes. Yes. Come on, Thomas. I knew you'd show us how to do it. Well, that good. I'm just happy. <laughs> Mate, we've slogged it out for a hell of a time. <laughs> we've, an earned, we've, we've earned that, haven't we? It's an afternoon. Well, mate, you have. I've only just got it. Don't worry, mate. <laughs> I'm just pleased to see one in the net. I honestly, honestly am. Mate, that was a hell of a bite. Absolutely clobbered it. I thought that was a pike to start That's exactly with. where I had mine as well. Was it? We might have found a little bit of a spot. That'd be nice if we have, because we've put in the legwork. That's a proper one, Tom, isn't it? I'll take that. Look at that, guys. There we go. Yeah, second <laughs> cast. You haven't been here five minutes. <laughs> yes, there we go. We will have that. Oh, mate, that was never coming off either. Right. Look at the size we've got. 
It is round. Let's see the underneath of it. It's got quite a stomach on it, Tom. Yeah. Look. Lovely grey markings. You'll take that, won't right. you, mate? Second cast. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we like to do it, though, don't we? There we go. Oh, easy. I mean, he's a big fish. Oh, yeah. 40, 43. 43. That's a chunk, isn't it? We've worked for that, haven't right. we? Right. Let me, well, you have. So let me just give you a little insight. Fish with Nick the other day, we had an absolute blank. It's been hard lately, really hard. He's come out this morning. I said, I can't get out till lunchtime. He's put all the work in this morning. We've come to a new stretch. We're doing a bit of exploring. I've rolled up, second cast, 43 and over three pounds. So I feel quite bad actually, you but- I forgive you, mate. I forgive you. Team effort. It's a cracking fish. Yeah. Bit of an old warrior. Um, was it three pound an ounce? Yeah, it? three pound and a little bit. Proper 40, pound. 43. And look how lovely and deep it is. But... I managed one half that size. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're in a new little spot. It's a secret, so we can't tell you. Yeah, but yeah. Um, maybe we'll get... We could be onto something. I mean, yeah. it's the first time either of us have fished it. Yeah. It's completely exploratory, wasn't it? Yeah. So, so um, who knows what will happen now? Yeah? We don't know, do we? Well, let's keep cracking on. And... Um, well, mate, I'm happy. Second cast. Look at it. I love these little grey bits, the, the blue bit that's always on the end of this uh, gill plate. They're one, just man. magnificent fish, aren't they? What so, tank. well done, mate. Cheers. Well, what do you make of that? Takes this, <laughs> doesn't it? I've been out here all morning, found some perch, Tom rocks up, catches an absolute donkey. That is an absolutely awesome fish. How about that? That is mental. That for a canal. Yeah, that's pretty special. That's a proper one. So take us through. What what did you have it on? Take us through. Um, the I've had it on a Shad Tees uh, hollow. I think this one is, which I really like because as they are, they're hollow. They fold up really easy. There's nothing. There's nothing in the centre there, which is quite cool. And in headlight colour, which is my favourite. A little bit of silver. But, Mate, a shad, also eight shad. centimeters. Yeah. Just what about the jig head size? What weight is that? Is that three, quite one, quite light? Two? Uh, it's about one point eight. That one, I think. Okay. So um, yeah, it just gives. I always find that you can fish a little bit quicker on the retrieve, and then you can fish slower on the fall. If you then need to fish slower on the retrieve and slower on the fall, you've got options. Um, but I like light jig heads because there's so many snags in these places. A heavier jig head really falls into the snags. But awesome. I still can't get over it. You rock up What's and it? catch an absolute tank. <laughs> Mate, thanks to you. Fair play. Tom, I don't want this to turn into another perch masters. Yeah. We grilled you enough on that. But while you're here, definitely going to pick your brains. Give us some tips on searching for big perch. Um, unless you're on a specific feature, yeah. I like moving my feet a lot. Right. Just constantly moving yeah. and constantly. So putting a cast in, doing the retrieve, moving a few paces, because every retrieve, even when people are fan casting, they're sort of almost to a certain degree, the bit in front of them, they're covering six times over. Yeah. I like to do the same number of casts, but if I keep moving my feet, then I'm covering different water every time. And we all know those predators, when they want it, they'll have it first or second cast. So keep moving. Brilliant. Wicked Tom. Love it, mate. <laughs> well done. So while Tom is slamming out monster perch, <laughs> I'm catching these. Oh well, can't have it your own way all the time. Go on, fella. The tail is down its throat. Isn't it? That was really slow again. Yeah, really slow. Just look, it's literally <laughs> down its throat. <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> We're done, mate. Yes. I'm happy with you. And there we go. We're happy with him. Mainly because of the lure change. I literally just switched to a crank, couldn't I? Yep. Um, and it's always satisfying when that happens, isn't it? When you make a change and got got a fish. Well, slightly different coloured water here as well. Yeah. Got I, darker water. I said that I thought it got a bit more murky. So I thought, thought I'd put a crank on, why not? And it produced a fish. And we were saying this is what's quite nice as fishing as a team, isn't it? Because you've got low and slow yeah. covered. Yeah. 
I, I put a crank on, why not? And yeah, lovely little canal chunk. Happy with him. So there you go, that's us done on the canal today. It's some really good sport and an absolutely banging perch by Tom. If you enjoyed the video, then please remember to like and subscribe and all that stuff. Uh, good luck with your perch fishing and I will see you in the next one.